All right, here we are with Michael Dunlop. In my eyes and hundreds of thousands of fans, a legend. Do you, do you, do you see yourself as one of those yet? No, not really, I don't think so. You know, people's got different outlooks on, you know, you know, some people are thinking that way and I wouldn't look at it that way. But by the by, there, there is probably a lot of people that would, would say you're a legend. Do you think you're, do you think you're too hard on yourself? Yeah. In, in respect of what you've managed to achieve in the world of, of motorbike racing? Depends how you look at it. You know, people look at it as, 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 as a, an achieving job, and I just look at it as what I do. So, you know, people look at it in completely different outlooks. I don't really look at it any different than what I would... You know, well, yeah, but it's uh, not the same as... It, so you work in construction, mm -hmm. right? What do you build? Houses? And then right. Anything I can get my hands on. So you build a house, you step back, and you go, well, I've done a good job there. Uh, well, then again, it's down to the person that's buying it. <laughs> you know, yeah. they don't do the yeah. job. Yeah, you know I mean, or, or depends what you do if you go into any scheme of thing. If you go into anything, if you're doing it for somebody else, mm -hmm. you know, they have to. You have to. Do they? What way do they look at it? Yeah. Instead of what way that I would look at it, would be completely different to you know the the person that's coming in. It's, it's a bit of a different. So is this is this potentially where you where you enjoy working for yourself, mm -hmm. doing your own thing, because there is no one to please at the end of it. There's no sponsors to adhere to. There's no. Uh, no, not really. Well, I have to do. Obviously, to a degree, I try to. To a degree, I, I, yeah. To, to, well, I do because at the end of the day, people are putting their hard-earned money into what I would like to do. So, you know, I'd like to think that, uh, as I said, all my sponsors are sort of no. There's still space in my hamlet. Nobody wants it. Good plug. Uh, but no, you, you know, people try to. You know, it's. it's I don't know. It's a, it's a strange way. It's not. I like doing my own thing because. You know, I've spent a lot of time working hard at it, mm -hmm. and I don't think, you know, when you've you used to get up in the morning brushing your teeth, you get up every morning brush your teeth, you used to go, up more, go race and work at your motorbikes, you do it, you know, yeah. it, 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 some people don't do that, some people like just turn up and riding and say, I've got a good bunch of lads and I, physically, until they tell me they don't want to go, then I don't, I would never get rid of them because they've yeah. been good to me over the last 10 years. Well, I think your, the sponsors that you've got are, are sponsors that invest in Michael Dunlop as opposed to go ahead and win if you don't win we'll kind of can you it's like we want to get you on that grid in the best possible shape in the best possible position so you can go and well, you can said, do your uh, thing they can do and, and that's and as i said you know they're, they're they've done it for the last 10 years yeah. you know what i mean and over the last 10 years obviously things have got things change and things get dear and, and but they do the same job but you know it's, it's even the even the work and lads too you know they, they spent 10 years of their lives you know whether they my sponsors follow me and take time off their work or all the road and see my lads take time of work, family time to come and help me. So you have to respect them more. So I think they do more of the work nearly than, mm -hmm. than you just what get I have to. Crack on a ride. Well, that's it. Once the bikes are built and the workshop over the winter, they're, it's up to the boys to look after them, and that's their job to do it. So and they do a good job at that. So there's no way of getting around the fact that you are a Dunlop, and the Dunlop name is synonymous with row racing with the TT. You, you're the last of that breed. You're carrying the flag for the whole family, essentially. Mm -hmm. Now, do you feel do you feel pressure in that? Do you feel pressure to make sure that you perform to the highest okay, ability to day, to I'm, respect I'm, the name? I'm trying to keep something going up with mm. you know, 40 years ago. And for the fact that the matter is, in my family life, we've lost them to the sport. So sometimes I think that you have to make sure we've been successful, and the name will always be remembered for the reasons that what's happened in the sport. So, yeah, yeah. you know, I have to try and keep that at an all time. You know, if it come down, if I let the name drop to its, to its ankles, then that would be, what do we, what do we give to the sport? What was the point? So to you personally, how important is legacy? Not just for, for you, Michael Dunlop, but also for the family. Oh, it's, it's, it's massive, you know, to a degree. You never really know you're doing something like everybody talks and rants and raves about, you know, MBEs, OBEs, services to sport, you know, until you sort of half nominate it or, or think you're getting something like that, you don't think you've done enough. So you have mm -hmm. to keep pushing until, you know, uh, maybe somebody, you just feel like you're having to push the whole time to get, you want to be recognised and within our sport too, it's, it's, it's not the easiest, I think. Maybe a wee bit different here in the UK, it's, it's changed a little bit. When Ireland, you're ever very secluded to all that mm. sort of stuff, so. I just want to try and keep pushing the name to, we can make the, the Dunlop name to, to as high a rank as I think I can possibly get it to. And what would you like people to remember Michael Dunlop for, not just the Dunlop name, but you personally? A complete lunatic. I mean, that's... 
Absolutely. We're pretty much there we're already, already I think right? We're, we're successful in that. Yeah. I don't know. Look, I've always tried in my lifetime. Well, it's been easy. Where it's been hard. Well, I've always tried to give it my hundred percent. So you'll be happy with a what a corner named after you at the TT? I'm just happy for anybody to do what they want, as long as I've done what I think I've done. Uh, don't get me wrong, it, it's great when you're recognised. I you know, I bought, became a free man of Balamani years ago, which is fantastic from your hometown. It's probably the biggest accolade you can get in your hometown. So for me, that's... What does it allow you to part where you want? It lets me herd sheep down the main street. Oh, really? Mm. I've got sheep, but I don't know if I can herd them down the main street. <laughs> I think the business people go mental. I think it's an old time yeah. heritage. You yeah. know, like I, back in the day, you could take sheep down the main street. So, and it's actually a nice thing to have. I, I, I'm not sure if I'm the last living person that has it as well. So, yeah. which it's, is, it's a pretty good accolade. Okay, it's, it's, it's especially from your hometown. Yeah, it's, 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 it recognises you. Recognises you know, it's because. After that, probably we don't. There's nothing, you know. There's once your town recognises you, there's nowhere really else. It's good when Stormont was born. We were obviously getting sometimes you get a letter from people. And it's, it's nice to see that you know you're trying to do your best for Northern Ireland. Like yeah. I'm trying to do what Northern Ireland is doing in a Olympic circle, for instance. Mm -hmm. Like my Olympic gold medals is I don't want TT. It's senior TT win, I guess. That's, yeah. You, know, that's the, you must have thought about it. You must have looked at it. You're getting closer and closer to your uncle's tally of wins. Potentially, you could even, if everything went right this year, you could over, you could actually overtake him. Is it something you've thought about? Is it something you you, you don't want to do? Or is it something you'd you'd feel he'd be proud of seeing you overachieve from what he did? Because he's been, let's say, the greatest of all time for as long as anyone can remember. Oh, really? If I'm honest, you know, every record's there to be broken. Mm -hmm. Everything in life, whether you know, unless tomorrow it completely stops, every record's to be broken. Every goal is to be beaten, every score is to be, you know, it, it, that's yeah. just life, you know what I mean, and, and, and as I say, if I win another 50 TTs, fantastic, you know, if I don't, I've won 21, I've done a brave, tidy enough old job, you know what I mean, and it's, you know, people went for years to do it, you know what I mean, and I've been able to been successful enough to, to win in every class, I want more, there's no doubt about that, but I don't look and say, no, I want Joey's record, or I want mm -hmm. John's record, or, you know, I just, I just want to keep trying to win TTs, and, Whatever falls with that, falls with it. That's all on the, the way I look at it. I've got a feeling it won't be the it won't be the last time we see you on the top step, is it? I, I, I hope not, but sure, we don't know what's around the corner. You know what I mean? That's and that's just life that's in general. Of, of that's the TT, the, right? That's the beauty of TT, and, and that's the, the value of life. You know, mm. you, you, you don't know where you'll be in six months' time. Yeah, twelve months' time. You know. But I guess in the in the space of time that you've been racing, you've probably squeezed more into it. You've lived more. In that period of time, than someone who would live to oh, eighty or ninety years old oh, and never that's chase right. the dreams. You know, I mean, you know, they are for some people their dreams, some people their, their nightmares. You know, it depends what way you want to live your life. But I've been fortunate enough over the last period of years. I've been about fucking five hundred years old now because I've done so much within the, the short period of time. Of, of you know, motorbike racing has done a lot, done a lot good for me, done a lot bad for me. But you know, at the end of the day, we all chase our own life. You know what I mean? And and, and what happens in life? Listen. Sadly, morals to the story is this time next year, probably not all the same boys in the grid, but that's just, you know, we, we know the, the risk the beast, it is, and it? say there's no point in having a dog and barking yourself. Yeah, good point. Michael, it's been an absolute pleasure. Cheers. Cheers, mate. Thank you.